What's up guys? So today I have a uh, Spyderco PM2. This one is in S35VN and I wanted to swap to the original scales here. Um, got this one in trade recently, just wanted to add to the PM2 collection. And it has these nice carbon fiber scales on here. It's actually really cool because they're kind of textured. It's not the normal you know, carbon fiber we're all used to. Um, however, I do want the original scales on here. Might want to use these for a different model. But the, uh, the knife is stripped. These screws for the pocket clip, these two here, are completely stripped. All right, let me zoom in on that. So I want to make a video just showing how to remove these. Now there's a couple different methods you can go by. Um, one thing, sometimes you get lucky. If it's barely stripped and you have uh, torque screws, you can use Allen keys and sometimes they'll grab it just enough to get it loose. Uh, in this case, no such luck. <laughs> so I have to use a Dremel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cutting wheel on the Dremel and I'm going to, you know, try to attempt this. Go very, very slow and very steady and cut this screw head in half. But I want to go all the way down. I basically just want to uh, cut a notch into it. Okay, so if I can cut a notch, then I can use a flathead screwdriver to back these screws out. All right, so here we go. Go very slow and careful. Ideally, you would have this in a vise at the hold the knife here. All right, so I have a notch in that one. Now I gotta do the other one. I'm actually gonna change the angle here so I don't hit the first screw. And that should be it. Go ahead and shut that off. All right, so essentially I just cut two slots, a slot in the first one, slot in the second one. Hopefully I didn't go too far on these. Obviously I don't want to damage the pocket clip. I do have a spare pocket clip just in case. I do have a spare hardware, but that is pretty much it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab, uh, actually I have a little flathead tool in here. Let me back this out. Do have a little flathead comes with a Dremel and hopefully I can use this to pop these screws out and it's hard to tell which way is which but that is turning the screw all right cool so that's the one screw I know I can get that out let's see this other one all right so I grabbed a fatter flathead here let's see if I can get this to break loose and yes so there you go, it worked. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at these uh, screw heads here. Uh, filming, you know, this uh, process made the thing a little bit more difficult. If you put this in a vise and then of course really focus on what you're doing, you can make some pretty precise cuts with your Dremel. But uh, but yeah, I essentially just made a little slit in there so they're, they're flat heads. All right, and I was able to get enough of these edges to grab with the uh, tip of the, the screwdriver uh, to, to loosen them. And you know, once they're loose, you could probably hand you know, hand uh, remove them from the uh, the pocket clip. It's just they're on there tight. So there you go. There's one way to do it. There's probably plenty of other ways. Like I said, the little tip and trick I've heard before is if they're barely stripped, um, you could you know most times still use a uh, an Allen key. The appropriate Allen key, by the way, because sometimes you have to match it up perfectly, whether it you know it's metric or standard. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I happen to have some spare hardware. All right, so I'm gonna do a separate video showing how to swap the scales on this uh, Spyderco PM2. So stay tuned for that. But for now, you know, I was about to start the video and the screws were stripped. I'm like, oh man, so eh, different video opportunity, I suppose. But yeah, there you go. In case you have some stripped screws, that's one way to go about it. Of course, there's plenty of other ways. The dangers of doing this is cutting too far. If you cut too far, you're gonna cut all the way through the screw and then you're going to cut into your pocket clip. 
Um, in this particular case, I, well, I want to give myself a little credit. I didn't get lucky so much, but I was watching how far I was going. But there's a little bit of luck involved there to get it deep enough to create shoulders for the, the screw um, screwdriver tip to grab and, you know, not going too deep so that you're actually cutting into the pocket clip. But as you can see here, the pocket clip is still good to go. So no harm there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, obviously once you do this, you need some new hardware. If you do it really well, if you do a really good job on it, you could probably keep the screws and just have little flatheads instead. <laughs> but more times than not, you're damaging the screws, and I would just get rid of them and get some new hardware. So that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.